Hi and welcome to Reseller News. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is August 16th, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who have recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. I got some windows open up, so let's get right to it. Okay, for those who are new, I just want you guys to know I do not read everything verbatim. I will give you the URLs to where I got the information from, and the rest is up to you if you'd like to pick up where I left off. So the URL for the next four windows is going to be for e-commerce bytes, and the URL is www.ecommercebytes.com. And this story was posted August 14th, 2019. Seller says eBay displays her ads, but not her listings. Now you could write into Aina uh, if you got. I think you got to sign up with her, you know, with her site, her website, and you could, uh, you know, you could leave comments and stuff like that. As far as I know. This person is either a buyer or a seller, most likely is a seller from what, I'm, what I read earlier. It says, Dear Ina, eBay has started to show sponsored or promoted listings on the five slots of my division in jewelry and watches. My original listings are not on the page at all. That means that if I, my items are liked, is liked by a customer, then the customer has to buy the sponsored item. This costs me $8 for each sale I make over and above my listing fees. I do not believe that this is legal or indeed a proper for eBay to do since I cannot sell my item without paying the sponsored price. What am I to do? I signed up for sponsored listings uh, because eBay assured me that I would only have to pay the percentage of the sale on that listing that stated sponsored and no additional fees on the original listing. Now there is no original listing pictured in my division eBay does this on each page, just putting a sponsored items in the first five or six slots. Can you get them to the bottom of this? Thanks, Sue. Well, I don't really deal with this right now. I mean, I don't know if you guys are out there experiencing the same problem this person is experiencing. Um, if you are, you may want to contact eBay and find out if there's something they could do about this here. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not, I don't, I, like I you know, doing the reselling news, folks, to be honest with you. Um, I, I love doing it because you always get to find out what's going on within eBay, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's why I love doing it. And in this particular case, I am not too familiar with this here. I mean, I know of sponsoring and promoter listings, but I'm not experiencing or sharing the same uh, you know, problem this person is uh, experiencing. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you feel that you know, you're in the same predicament as this person is, drop it in the comment below. And let us, you know, share with us what you think is, uh, you know, what, what you. I want to hear your take on it. What you think about this? What's going on? Now, again, uh, if you don't want to read the whole thing, I will scroll down, um, and you can check out the. Uh, these are comments now. All right, the story she already said, stated her piece. So this is some of the uh, comments. And uh, if you want, if you don't want to go to the website, which I recommend you do, uh, you could just pause the video and you could read it as we, as, you know, as as you, so, you know, do. Please, that's totally up to you if you want to read it. Uh, I like reading the comments because these people do bring out some good uh, information out there. Sometimes they make me aware of things that I'm not even familiar with happening on the site, you know. But uh, yeah, this is basically what this all is. These are comments, folks. And uh, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom. Like I said, again, you guys could, um, you know, pick up on it, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, share that information if you want after you read it. If you want to share you know, some information uh, that you may, that may be pertaining to you. Maybe you're experiencing the same thing, you know. But let's see here. Let's take it down to the bottom. And last but not least, if you are going to, um, you know, uh, leave a comment over here. It says login is, uh, is required to post comments. To sign in, leave a comment using the AB Verify username. Fill in the form below. If you are not signed yet, if you have not yet signed up for AB Verify, or if you would like to uh, more information, go to the registration page. Now it's an active hyperlink. You can click this on here, and you'll get the information. That's why I can't express it enough. In most in most cases, to um, actually go to the website because uh, sometimes with uh, the e-commerce bytes, they do have uh, hyperlinks in there, and you'll know the active hyperlinks by the blue wording in there, and that's the only way you're going to read more into it by uh, subscribing. Well, actually, you could subscribe to her uh, her newsletter as well, and you could uh, be updated as to when she posts new stuff out. But uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, we're going to go to the next one here. Like I said, I don't want to go too too much into this. This one here came out August 15th, 2019. Do you understand eBay seller protections coming in October? It goes on to say eBay sellers are underwhel uh, underwhelmed, okay, usually overwhelmed, okay, <laughs> were underwhelmed uh, by the company's announcements 
uh, announcement around the seller protections in the spring seller update in the late April because the announcements was vague and discussed uh, actions they felt eBay should already have been taken to protect them from bad buyers. It goes on to say eBay CEO Devin Wenig remained um, vague when speaking to the Wall Street analyst in May and again in July. The CD is also talking about the, uh, the blue here. Those are all active hyperlinks. You want to read more into it, you got to click it on. Uh, May and June, uh, and this is about more protections on the way. But it goes on to see it. But at the eBay Open Seller Conference in July, the company announced new protections along with some other features. No one seems sure that uh, sure if, if that means eBay is skipping its promise to summer seller update this year, though there's been a bound to be full uh, to be a full update coming soon. Uh, it goes on to say questions about uh, the upcoming seller protection changes remain. A seller wrote during the Wednesday's weekly chat. Hi, so the most recent update that regarding the new service metrics, sellers will now be able to appeal a multitude of false INADs that were received. Can you confirm this? Also, will service metric and INADs be automatically removed from the top rated sellers? We offer free returns. Oh no, who offer free returns or will manually remove the request be required? And then a little more, it says to, uh, to which an eBay moderator responded, additional protections are coming October 1st for top rated sellers. Those protections do not include, oh no, do include, I'm sorry, I'm reading too fast here, do include service metric protections for false claims filed by a buyer. You can review them in more detail here. Uh, <clears throat> you will need to report, <clears throat> excuse me, the buyer in order to be eligible for such protection, but the removal is automatic once it, it's done. It says, we're, we're curious if you understand what the seller protections are coming, <clears throat> or whether they apply to you or how they work. It is perplexing to us that eBay is limiting the new protections to the top rate sellers only. It is top rate seller status easily achievable for your business? And then you go again. Uh, remember, folks, if you want to you know, check out those active hyperlinks, you got to sign on here. Here is some uh, more information here. These are some comments left by some of the probably buyers and sellers. <clears throat> so uh, I'm just going to scroll down here really quick, and I'm going to try to get this done as quick as possible, folks. I'm sorry, guys. It's getting late over here. It's going on 7 p.m. Uh, over here on the East Coast of New York time here. And, um, yeah, I, I just want to get this stuff done and over with because it's, I didn't get, to be honest with you, I didn't get a chance to even eat dinner. Uh, I'm so engulfed with this here and thrilled with doing this stuff here. I want to get this information out to you guys as quick, you know, as soon as possible. When it comes to me, I like to get it out to you guys, you know. So, uh, yeah, basically, and remember, if you do want to respond to a comment, uh, you're going to have to log in to post any comments too. All right, let's move right along up here. Uh, you know the story you're looking for. you got the URL. Let's move right along. Okay, eBay runs a pilot program bringing content and commerce together. <clears throat> this is another story is posted August 15, 2019. eBay is testing a new buyer experience that brings the content of e-commerce together on eBay. During this week's eBay for Business podcast, Mahan Pat, Vice President and Buyer of Ads and Retail Standards, described the program. Here is the link to the podcast. It picks up around 20, uh, 32, 33, where Pat explains uh, the concept. And then it goes on to say, and then the last thing I want to share is, uh, which I am super excited about, and we shared this today, doesn't even have a name. It's a new experience that we were trying to build on bringing content and commerce uh, together, which is really allowing our buyers to stay engaged on the platform. <coughs> and then it goes on to say, if you're into comic books, as a matter of fact, I'm going to have a couple windows with comic books, too, so you guys could stick around and just want to share that with you. Uh, it says if you're into comic books, if you are into trading cards, if you are into baseball cards, or if you're into clothing, or if you're into, yeah, into camping, it is bringing interesting articles, contents, videos that's off the platform outside of eBay, allowing buyers to read about it, but then showing the items they read about in the article. Uh, how to have your first camping trip with your son. Great articles. Here are 10 things you need. Uh, here are all the items that to buy on eBay. Now, I'm not going to read too much into this, folks, here. Uh, again, you could check it out. All right. Pretty good information. Uh, apparently, nobody left a comment. a comment over here. Okay. Okay. All right. So, I guess they felt it wasn't comment worthy. <laughs> but you could check it out, guys. <clears throat> and uh, let me just get a little swig of water over here. What happened to me? Read too fast and you talk too much. 
This one was posted August 16, 2019. eBay stuff to the pressure on sellers to join managed payments. Ooh, I do not want to join managed payments. I know I think they said by 2020 or I think I'm quite sure it's 2020. That was going to be a mandatory thing that everybody's going to be involved with it. I'm not crazy about it. I'd rather stay with PayPal, but let's see. Let's read a little into this here first. It says, Dear Ina, eBay sent the letter practically demanding I join managed payments. Okay. Dear seller, our records indicate that you were previously invited to manage payments. eBay simplified the seller's experience to sell and get paid. Based on our review of your, of your account, the features and tools you use on eBay are fully compatible with the managed payments. To benefit from the new payments experience, early register at eBay payments registration, <clears throat> which I'm not going to do. All eBay sales will progressively be required to transition to the, what? To the managed payments in the, in the coming months. Oh no! I want to stay with I want to stay with PayPal. <laughs> uh, it says managed payments offers more ways for buyers to pay with a credit, debit, no. all right, and gift cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, all right, and PayPal credit. Okay, well if they're still going to keep PayPal in the mix, then I guess I'm okay with it. PayPal uh, payouts will be all well, this paying right. Payouts will be automatically deposited to your banking account. Seller receive a consolidated <clears throat> reports, simplified seller protections, one month. Or one monthly bill for all fees and access to dedicated customer support. Then it goes on to say here new features include single unique number for order initiation to pay out and the ability to issue partial or full refunds to buyers directly on eBay or via third party platforms. Sellers who have already joined the report high satisfaction and recommended managed payments to other sellers. Really? Okay. Back uh, a couple months ago, I heard uh, nightmares with it. Some people like it, some people hate it. All right, well, maybe things will get better as it goes along. It says to learn more about managed payments, visit ebay.com forward slash payments. Okay, and then it goes up here signing up, uh, signing up now will allow you to choose the best time to join the business, oh, uh, to join for your business and avail or any existing promotions. These include summer sign up programs available to August 31st. And the dollar per listing payment fees through September 30th, 2019. Please check your email account or messages on my eBay for more details. Okay, and then again, they got some comments, and uh, we are not going to read them, but you guys can. <laughs> so I'm just going to scroll down here again, folks. Like I said, just remember what I said earlier. Um, if you want to uh, activate those active hyperlinks, you're going to have to sign on to this website. And that is it. So let's go. That's it for e-commerce bytes. And the story you're looking for, just to recap, is the eBay sets the pressure on sellers to join managed payments. And the story you're looking for came out August 16th, today, 2019. And with that, we're going to close this window out. And the next one is from this company called, well, the website called comicbooksinvest.com. It's www.comicbooksinvest.com. Now, you're probably saying, why am I sharing this here? Well, you know, I heard stories before that people say, you know, there's not really much money in comics and stuff like that there. It is a hard sell. I have a whole bunch in the storage facility. And I'm looking at some of these here right now. Oh, let me give you a I gave you, yeah, I did give you a right? Let me, let me just recap it again. It's www.comicbooksinvest.com. I'm sorry, folks. I might repeat myself twice. It's just I'm speaking so fast. I just want to get this stuff done. Um, this story looks like it was posted here. It was posted August 9th, 2019. And uh, it's the hot ten, hot 10 comics, right? And these are the ones that's showing you over here. Now, some of these, I have old comics, you know. Um, I never really uh, took the initiative to really do research on them. Um, they've been sitting in the, 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 you know, the facility, the storage facility, for quite some time. They're getting a little musty in there. I don't know if these buyers would want to buy a musty comic, but they're still wrapped up in the plastic jackets and stuff. But uh, I just wanted to share this information with you. Check this out, folks. Uh, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna read too much. I'm gonna pick like this one over here, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, number one. Um, it says not too much. It says not much to say about this all-time classic, but. That ninety thousand dollar sale, I guess that's a ceiling, or or is it right? <laughs> Check the availability. Um, I don't the, like I, like I said again. I, this is this site's new to me, so first time I'm coming to it. But uh, I wanted to share it with you guys. I mean, you know, you may have you may have some comments that may be worth money. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get another one over here. I'm trying to get something that has a decent price in there. Um, Try to see one. Now I have stuff like this, like the Thor. I have the Werewolf one over here. Uh, let's see what this one here is. Uh, I'm just looking at this really quick. 
We'll pony up. Okay. Uh, this one goes on to say, all right, I don't think that the actor is a big deal. Okay, I'm just kind of like skimming through this, folks, so bear with me here. Uh, this means, well, okay, pony up over $1,000 for just a 7.0. MK fans have been waiting for Okay, now when they say check availability, let's just see what this is all about because this is a new website to me. So let's see really quick here. Let's check the availability. Sorry, but my computer's a little on the slow side. Oh, okay, they oh, okay, they take it hyperlinks you right to eBay. Wow. Okay. Uh, 44 results for the Werewolf Maxi. <laughs> Look at the prices here, folks. Holy smokes. Well, it's asking for it, but they're not, you know, it, like I said, a lot of them, well, this guy has best offer, so if he's asking eighteen fifty nine, who knows? Maybe he'll take uh, $1,500, $800, who knows? I don't know. But look at the prices, though. $695, $995. Look at this, $773, $3,130. These must be uh, in somewhat prestige condition, I mean, for that price. Now, do all these guys have watches on them? Okay. You know, I, I talked about this once before in my other videos. Whenever you get watches too, folks, um, I, basic common sense will tell you, most likely it's going to be a competition watch in here. You know what I'm saying? Because they may, well, or, cur or curiosity seekers. Um, like if I'm curious like, to see if this is going to sell, I would put on my watches to see if it's actually going to sell and what they're going to get it, you know, get the price for. Remember, it's a best offer, so they're not going to probably get the 1859, but... I would be curious to see if any of these sell, you know. Um, I know you could always check there and, you know, check the, uh, you know, completed listings and also sold items list. But I'm just curious to see if any of these sell. Look at the prices here, folks. Now, I do have, like I said, I do have comic books like this here. I don't know. Now, the, here's another thing, too. The year is very important. Uh, when it comes to collectors, I know they like old ones. Let's see what this one is for $1,800. I just want to see what they have over here. I'm sorry, folks. I hope you don't mind me sharing this really quick. I just want to see. Um, hmm. That's the uh, that's the description. Okay, maybe. Let's see. No. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the sponsored links. Okay, we don't want to go check them out. Um, I'm just curious to see over here. I was trying to look for a date. You know how old it is. So they put all these things there. CGC. I'm not sure what that is. Original and. You know, I mean, I don't know. And then they got these numbers here. I, I have comic books, but they're not in these. They have these nice, really hard uh, plastic cases, too. Um, I don't know. But anyway, um, you know, I had to do more research, but I have a whole bunch. I probably have, if I had to take a guesstimation, I probably have close to a grand, a thousand uh, com comics, all different ones, you know. And uh, But look at the price of these things. Bro. Now, here, this guy's got a bid on it. All right. This guy's got a bid on this one here. Let me just see something. I'm just curious. You know, I hope you don't mind. I really hope you don't mind. I'm just curious to see. Okay, now this is from 1975. Book Marvel, 1975. Now I have books. I have uh, video. I have uh, videos. I have uh, comic books that are just like this as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start checking in my comic collection to see because if these people are getting that, I mean, I don't. Even, I'm not even concerned about getting a thousand dollars or whatever. But if I can get like a couple hundred dollars, that's even. You know, that's just that works for me. Wow. But uh, look at the competition, though, folks. Look at the competition. Okay. Look at the competition here. Crazy prices. Look at that. All right. I'm not going to expand too much on the topic. I don't want to bore you guys. Okay. Now, if you want to check it out, I gave you the URL. Uh, if you guys are interested in selling comments, I just wanted to throw it out there, share it with you guys. Uh, check out the site. Do a little research. If you have comics laying around, or you may be at a yard sale, you may be at a thrift store, and you may come across these things. Try to take note too. You know, uh, write down information. Keep a little. Put it on your cell phone. You know, maybe you could put on your cell phone there certain comments to look for. And then when you go to do, uh, the thrift stores or yard sales, and you know, you could probably bring it up really quick and say, hey, you know, this this might be worth money. You never know. You, you don't know. All right. But uh, check it out. And this is uh, CBSI, ComicBookInvestment.com. Okay. And again, these are active hyperlinks. I guess I didn't know when I say check the availability. Uh, I believe it's going to take you there to an act you know have it linked you to uh, eBay which is pretty cool all right and last but not least is this one over here uh, now this one here I got because it is on eBay it deals with eBay right <laughs> um, it goes on to say here and let me give you a URL it's uh, okay www bleeding cool one word dot com okay and it goes on to say here supergirl number 33 sells copies for up to fifty dollars on eBay today 
This story came out August 14th, 2019. It's got seven comments as well if you want to read into it. I'm not going to read too, too much into this here. Uh, let's see here. I, I'll, I'll read this here, but I don't want to get too, too much in. It says, last week, Bleeding Cool broke the news that DC Comics were telling, were telling retailers to destroy, what? To destroy incoming copies of Superman 14 and Supergirl 33, with the reason given that these comics were solicited as a DC year of the villain of Dark uh, Gift Tyson title. See, I don't know too much about, you know, with all these certain things that they got certain codes and grading system for the comics and stuff like that. It's like baseball cards. I don't know all of that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So uh, I wasn't aware of this here, but um, let's see a little. Let's read a little more. Bleeding Cool is dubious about the re these reasons and look forward to uh, comparing the repainted versions with the scans that we have. Uh, we have the comics on that arrived today and plenty of stores don't seem to be taking any notice of the DC's request. Here's what the copies have sold for on eBay earlier today. Okay, now I guess that's the cover price, right? That's what it what this is what it was sold for. Let's click this on. Let's see something really quick. Let's explore. Okay, all right. Apparently it was on eBay. You know, whenever you come to these ended listings, you can just go over here, folks. In case you didn't know, see original listing. Okay, you could always click that on and see for yourself if you want to see what it's all about. So this is the original listing, and uh, it's Supergirl. Okay. And see, see, they got like the uh, publication date, convention recall. All right, uh, I don't know uh, publishing. They usually have sometimes the issue number or certification uncertified. So I'm not too familiar with all that stuff there. Uh, for me, I would just put it up there and say Superman or Batman or whatever it is comic. This is what it is. The year it came out, and that's as far as I go. You know, <laughs> but um, yeah, and and they, you can see they all range in different prices. Like I mean, it's not like a big markup. Now. I'm looking at the related sponsored items. Look at the prices, you know. I mean, there's nothing to really write home about, but this person here uh, got 40 bucks for it, according to the uh, according to the listing here, right? Oh, well, yeah, $39, four sold, okay? So uh, this person did pretty good with that, you know? Um, and that's basically it. I don't know, did they say when it came out? I, I didn't really take too much notice on that, but again, you can see other ones like that there, and they're all different prices and stuff, you know? But anyway, let's uh, go back to that really quick. Uh, did I give you any URL? I think I, did. I don't know if I did it. Let me just repeat it again. Uh, it, it's called bleedingcool.com. Right, so it's www.bleedingcool.com. Okay. And again, you could check these out. You may have these comics laying around. I might have some of these things laying around. I don't know. I have to look. So like I said, I got about, I, I would say, at least a thousand of them. And uh, I'm going to look through them, you know. And I'm going to pick out the ones I think. I'm going to do some research on it. And when I do, I will share the information with you guys. And on that note, folks, I'm going to close out the reseller news. So let me just bump out of this window here. Well, that concludes the reseller news for August 16, 2019. I hope the information was helpful and you got a takeaway from it. And if it was, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated as to when I post out new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. I'm wishing you guys all the best in sales. Have a great weekend. Until next time. Bye-bye now.